identifying functions and writing the domain and range of those functions. So we have three examples here. So identifying whether it is a function or if it's just a relationship. Functions are one-on-one. -on -one. That means there's for each x, there is only one y. For any relationship, you can have multiple x's and multiple y's. But if it's a function, there's only one y for each x. And then the domain and range, the domain is whatever x can be, and the range is whatever y can be. So domain is x, range is y. So looking at my first example here, I want to first find out what are my domain? What is my domain? What are my x's? So my domain is going to be the numbers, I want this to be a curly brace, to say that it's only these numbers. It's only going to be the negative 1, the negative 3, and the positive 2. My range is my y values, 5, 4, and 5 again. So because I already have 5 written, I don't need to write it a second time. So I can close my curly brace. This is not the best way of writing this. The best way would be to have it in order from negative 3 to negative 1 to positive 2, but this is acceptable. I mean, it's ugly, but it's correct. So the better answer would be domain is set of numbers negative 3, comma, negative 1, comma, negative 2, two no, positive 2. Close my curly brace better answer here would be to put these in order also. So curly brace, 4, 5, close my curly brace. Those are the better answers. Now, finding out whether it's a function or not, I look at my x's to see did any of my x's repeat? None of my x's repeat it, so therefore I'm okay. This is a function. is a function. Looking down here, my domain is going to be my x values. So my x value is negative 2, x value is positive 3, x value is negative 2. It repeats. It may or may not be okay. We're going to figure that out. But because it repeats, I don't need to write it. My range, 7, 1, and 7. That repeats. Because it repeats, I don't need to write it. So I have my domain, I have my range. I need to figure out, is this a function or not? Because my domain has a repeat number in it, I have to double check this. My repeat number, the negative 2, there's the repeat of it. I have to look at the x value for this. I have a 7, I have a 7 for both of them. So that means that this is okay because that's the same position on a graph. So this is a function.
So repeating X's is okay, but you have to be careful because the next example may or may not be. Repeating Y's is completely okay. Let's look at this last one here. My domain is the set of numbers 1, 2, and again I have a 1. So I have a repeat in there. I have to hold that in my mind. My range is the set of numbers 6, 5, and 4. So looking at this, my one repeats shows up there and it shows up over here. Now I have to figure out with that, do I have the Y the same? This has a 6, that has a 4. That is not the same. So because that is not the same, it is not a function. So my x repeated, and it did not have the same y with it, so it is not a function.